you so if you're done reading the po reading the policy just click on next and then um you notice where it says take training right i've already done this but for the sake of getting everything i actually have to take this training by clicking on this once you click on the link it's going to take you the, to the training section where you can take the training this is actually the information now um i don't know if it's going to ask me any of this question but uh for some security purpose or for some some reason i am going to copy this um particular area right so i am going to copy this and i'm going to put it on a note just in case i finish everything and it start asking me any question and then for me to forget i am just going to click on next because i do not want this video to take any longer now there is actually a question i didn't expect so now it says um mona lisa posted a video complaining about age restriction on youtube content now she said uh she found a website uh where she can um where she can view all age restricted content on youtube without being logged in um and shows uh and shows people how to access the website okay uh this actually is asking me questions to know if this violates uh youtube policy yes i think it valid because you cannot uh on youtube it's when you say something is age restricted you're not supposed to teach people actually how to bypass that which is actually what kind of what um uh, happened in my video so you answer the question and you check so i'm doing that guys just follow along because we are doing this together and you notice yeah i got right this is actually my first time for doing this i don't even know i'm going to get it right okay next so next it says um lee buys um an unfinished um 80 percent lower receiver what hold on lee buys an unfinished 80 percent lower receiver what is that okay i don't know what that means then uh, which is um which is a component of a firearm oh it comes with a kit that contains um other components of a firearm okay that's dangerous lee shows footage of himself drilling into the um lower receiver to finish it okay allowing the firearm to accept the trigger and the rest of the sorry allowing the firearm to accept the trigger and the rest of the parts from its kit okay i actually do not understand this question because i don't know much about firearms and i don't know if this violates or not guys but then youtube doesn't actually want people to uh, make contents that are they don't want people to make content that are actually a harmful so this is actually firearms and there are people that make firearms video on youtube and this is actually educational content but even though it's an educational content i don't know since the firearm doesn't actually he's not actually shooting it and he's not hurting people in it this shouldn't be a violation i just hope i don't feel this let me just give this a try i don't know much about firearms so this particular question is a bit weird but let's just say based on my intuition let me say no this is supposed to be educational but then let me try again let's see okay and it's the same question yes this um is a violation i don't really i thought firearm is supposed to be um accepted in the united states i this particular question is not um really friendly because i'm from nigeria and i don't know much about firearms did i skip a question because i think it showed a particular question oh it changed the question because i'm very sure this is not what i saw guys if you are watching my video you can skip back to that particular area that is exactly not what i saw i saw something different it quickly changed but no problem let's continue a gaming channel uploads an informational video about um how to log in for a popular video games um for a popular video game get token oh sorry sorry hold on how to how logs in Oh, come on. What am I saying? A gaming channel uploads an informational video about how logins for a popular video games get stolen. Oh, how login for if popular video games get stolen. How people lost their account or their login details in a popular video games. Um, the host demonstrates how to create a fake landing page to collect login detail for video gaming account 
um, from unsuspected user. This is actually not accepted. Yes, I know it's a violation. This I know very well is a violation because it's like teaching people how to steal um, people's um, information online. So this this is not acceptable because um, the wrong person might actually fall victim. So instead of teaching people how to um, steal people's um, information, login information, you should instead teach people how not to lose their login details. So I think this is actually a violation. I, I know this for sure. This is actually my intuition. It's not as if I read it somewhere. And this is actually correct. And you can see the detail, even though this video is educational content, contest um the content shares information uh, information on how to collect login data remember uh certain uh content isn't allowed on youtube even if um that contest uh, added okay even if it has contest added this includes um instruction on how to use computer and informational technology to promote which means the video i made and showed people on how to guys I actually think I have not been doing YouTube perfectly well all this while because even though I know this is supposed to be a bad thing, I didn't know that um, the video I actually told you guys that was taken down, I was showing people how to use GB WhatsApp and on GB WhatsApp you can do a lot of things like um, somebody can post their uh, picture and delete it and you can see it even after the person have deleted it. Someone can make an edit, you see the edited post. And guys, this is really, I am now actually understand the reason why some of my videos were taken down, even though I thought it was wrongly taken down. Okay, that is clearly understood. But then I was actually reviewing an app. Okay, so um, click on next if you're done with that particular question. And then there is another question. Lee shares instruction on how to edit a photo to make someone look younger using an expensive photo editing software he mentioned that he got a copy of the software of the editing software for free but he doesn't provide any instruction on how others get it for free lee shows viewers how he uses the tool to reduce um appearances of wrinkles no this doesn't actually violate because it's not actually sh showing people how to do the same thing he did even though he stole it i don't think this violates but let me see okay then that's right guys this video is getting longer you know what, I'm going to cut this video in two in case you're watching this video and noticing that it's two. I am going to cut this video so that some people are going to watch everything on how I started and then some people are going to watch the remaining. Some people are going to watch the full video, some people are going to watch a part of the video. Now, um, it says, um, Hugh uploads a documentary in which he explains um, the science behind how, um, how meds affect the brain. This is educational. He includes detail about the chemical compounds in meds and gives instruction instructions about how to make meds. No, that is not instru um, that is not educational on how to make meds using a reliable available chemical. Yes, this violates the policy because you are obviously showing people how to do this. So yes, I am correct. I'm actually getting to understanding this better. Nice one, guys. Nice one. A news reporter uploads a video to a news uh, station's channel that shows footage of a thief caught in the act um, of tampering with a parking meter. Okay, um, the clip shows the thief using a tool to adjust the meter settings, then cuts to the clip um, from where the reporter is desc describing describing rampant parking meter hack, and then. Um, the clip uh, does not provide instruction for how to replicate the thief. Okay, this is not a complete footage, so this is not supposed to be violating. This isn't a violation because it's a news story. It's actually a documentary. This is a violation because it shows someone stealing. No, it's not. This isn't a violation because the video does not provide instructions for how to replicate the thief. Then this is also correct. This isn't a violation because tampering with a parking meter isn't a crime. Okay, a parking meter, guys. I don't know if that is a crime in the US. A parking meter is a crime because I think parking meter is where you park your cars or your vehicles and then um, they charge for that. So if they charge for it and you are tampering with it, 
and then if this is filmed it's a crime so i think it's a crime this isn't a crime because it's a news story no not really it can be a crime if the person added more information so i think this one is perfect and this one might also be correct uh but um i think this is the most accurate answer this is also correct but this is the most accurate answer let's see okay i am very right and it did not indicate the other one also so perfect ezekiel post a photo um post a photo what ezekiel post a documentary on fantasy okay i don't know what this is okay anyway ezekiel post a photo on fantanel crisis um in the major city during the video ezekiel shows clip of people consuming hard drugs on the street and interviews several of them about their experience ezekiel shares um statistics on the increase in overdose sorry in overdose deaths in the city over the past 12 months okay this is not a crime that is actually a documentary a very good documentary this video violates okay this video violates the policy because it shows someone using a hard drug this is not a violation because the video is the video exactly this is not a violation because the video provides documentary contest this isn't a violation because the video because the contest doesn't facilitate the sale of hard drugs yeah okay no i think the second one is the best answer yes i'm correct i don't want to read the other one so that it won't take time and now you see nicely done you have completed the training we appreciate you taking your time to help um to help us keep youtube safe check out the community guideline um anytime you are unsure about posting a content a uh, posting content okay no problem let me see uh, what's next your warning will be expired uh february 26th okay great this is actually a great news guys this is what i've been waiting to show you guys and i'm going to take screenshot of this page and i will never forget it <laughs> i will never forget it because this has been very long guys this has been as long as 2019 that is actually when i got monetized so i had this issue and man i am so happy that this is going to be going away on the february um 2024 which is next year not very far from now but guys that is quite a time and i, I was actually hoping to make more videos that is like oh god i am going to be very cautious about making more video guys i think i learned a lot in this video and maybe i was getting it wrong all this while it's not a maybe i am actually getting it wrong all this while so i'm going to do my best to improve in my content and i just hope i don't get this kind of issues again in my other video or in my other channel so now there are even more information if you violate um, the harmful or dangerous policy again before the expiring time you will get a strike yes i know that if you violate if you violate a different policy you will get another warning yes i know that with the opportunity to take another training yes i would really appreciate the training the training is way better than having something to last very long 2019 2019 20 20 21 20, 20, 20. seriously guys that's four years interval almost five years guys so that is very terrible so i just hope this goes away um really i can't wait for it to go away and guys thank you so much for watching this video i wish i can share more information about this but guys i am just experiencing this for the first time and if i have more information i'm going to pass it on to you guys and also please make sure you subscribe to my membership to really support me i would really need that and i really appreciate everyone so far um for this year's journey um it's been it's been amazing if you have been subscribing and watching to my content every time i upload it's not that easy i i am grateful thank you thank you and i will see you soon okay guys let me close this training and let's see what information we have and then there is even more information it says take a training i'm already done with that i plead this session. there is no need to actually appeal this i know that i'm wrong after reading everything so there is no need to appeal the decision but it still does take action. Um, we will take another look at your content. Um, you can always appeal later, even after taking the training. Oh, even after taking the training? Nah, no need for that. I really want to.
all right guys so um there is no need for me taking the training i actually want to close this but the reason why i am seeing this i don't know why i am seeing the take action why is that let me go ahead and close let's see okay i closed it and it's still right here let me open it back again okay it said training completed so i think i'm done and return to strike okay return to strike what does that mean curious let's see okay um it doesn't load so this is actually the strike so let me close open return to strike again so so we are already done with the training and there is nothing more to view here guys so uh that does it so we are going to actually wait till february what did you say february i think a screenshot so let's see february what 20 something i know it's 20 something right so february 26th 2024 which is um three months from now and then we are going to be seeing this uh, perfect for us so um guys i thank you for watching this video i really appreciate your time and i will see you on my next video <clears throat> stay safe and peace